Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothingcom I am Fug It! And that stands for the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. And today guys, I am picking up my son from school. He has a half a day. And so, kind of gets a little tough to make videos um, when there's organized chaos in my miss. So, thought I'd cut this video as I'm waiting for him. I apologize for the sound of bugs in a field, but I'll just have to talk over them. Cause I'm a man and this is my country. I don't know what that has to do with it, but I could roll up the windows and sweat. So I prefer this. Anyways, guys, I wanna to talk to you about what do you do when life gets in the way of dot, 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 right? What do you do when life gets in the way of your workouts? What do you do, you know, when you have things you want to accomplish or do, um, and, you know, like either bucket list things or, you know, you want to work on this, you want to work on that, but then life gets in the way. Now, the way I look at it is there's seasons of life, right? There's times where, you know, let's say you're in the middle of selling your house and buying another one or you had uh, a job transition and you know you're trying to like start up start on the right foot with that job so you're putting in some extra hours or you're doing the work you need to do to be ready for that position um, you're in school and you're you have finals right there's all kinds of things that can get in the way of best laid plans like I'm gonna start this fitness plan I'm going to organize my eating and my meal prep so that you know i can finally reach my goals this and that right and i mean it it happens to all of us so the thing is is if that thing that in your life gets in the way of this or that happens the best thing to do is to simply look at the thing that's happening okay does it have a definite end time meaning you know it's gonna be rough waters but then it's gonna you know subside a little bit for you and look at it from that perspective let's say it's gonna be a month or two or it's gonna be a few weeks then you got to give yourself a pass count okay or do you know make some modifications to whatever your goals are or however you're strategizing to get to your goal so let's say um, I'll give you a personal story. Uh, there was a point when I was wrestling full time and I was in school full time. And it was uh, spring and summer classes and they were intense, you know, instead of uh, 16 weeks or 12 weeks, whatever they are, it's been so long now. Um, they were really condensed eight week classes and they were very intense. So I was gonna be wrestling, uh, six hours of classes a day and the rest of the time was either sleeping eating or studying for the exams getting all the work coursework done I needed to do and it was very intense um, I didn't have time to work out and part of my job as a pro wrestler was having a cosmetic look you know staying really lean you know looking strong all these things so I knew I wasn't going to have a chance to work out. It was just, I, I believe me, I'm the master of the 15, 20 minute workout if need be, you know, just to get something in. I mean, it was that tight for about eight weeks where it just wasn't going to happen. You know, the only workouts I got were either in the ring wrestling or um, in like pumping up before the show. And you might say, oh, well, what if you're driving or flying? Then you could have, you know, done some studying then and then not have as much study when you, um, you know, were not on the road. But the thing is, is that every minute that I was either traveling that I didn't have to drive or I could pay attention to work, I was doing all the coursework needed. And then whenever I was home, boom, it was, um, you know, it was just crazy. So, you know, I just, I said, okay, the only thing I can control right now when life got in the way was I could control my eating. So I cut my calories down a little bit from carbohydrate. 
I stayed really, um, um, really disciplined with um, only having lean protein. So I had my calories low. So it was like, you know, white meat, like chicken, um, some fish, uh, and turkey, and of course tuna, and a lot of vegetables. So the only time I would have carbohydrates, really, um, anything substantial would be oatmeal in the morning. And so I did that, um, you know, for those eight weeks, and I knew that there was an end in sight. You know, the end was that eight week period, and I was gonna be able to, um, you know, get back on, you know, somewhat of a normal, balanced um, quality of life. So, yeah, when life gets in the way, guys, take a look and say, okay, does this have an end point? And then you just compromise. And you can't beat yourself up. You can't say, oh, why can't I get it done and blah, 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 or mope about it. You know, just put your big boy pants on. This too shall pass and start to plan and project, okay, what's going to happen after this? How am I going to stay on my plan once this little spot in my life gets kind of settles down? So just thought I'd give you some tips with that, you guys. Like, share, subscribe. Don't give up. You're still going to reach your goals. But as soon as you get the perfect plan, life's erratic craziness jumps in. And then it's all improvise. All right, guys, have a great day. Talk to you again soon.